In today's video, we are going to design an angle slider. So first of all, we have to verify the units. So the units are selected in, in millimeter. We are good. If units are not in millimeter, you can change it here from change active units and select the required units. So I am going to open the sketching on the front plane and select the line tool and we are going to simply draw a sketch so start from the origin draw a line like that then a vertical line then a line at some angle like that then again draw a line like that and now we needed to close this sketch to do that we have to auto track this point like that and draw a like and close the sketch on the origin now i am going to select selection so the line tool is deactivated then select the dimension tool and i am going to define the dimension so this dimension is 250 okay and this dimension we have 90 and this one we have 120 and we have to draw an angular dimension so select this line and this line and this angle we have 30 degree no our sketch is done finish this sketch and we have to extrude this sketch so just rotate it select the extrude tool and under the uh, pop-up window of extrude the properties windows under the profile we have to select this profile so this arrow appear if we drag this arrow we are adding the material and here on the distance we can define this distance this depth of the extrusion it's 175 okay now this is the first feature this is the base feature and the next again i am going to open the sketching and i am going to select the top plane and from here i have to draw a line and select the line tool and draw a line from here like that and this line must coincide with this edge so just place it here we are going to define a uh, relation the constraint i'm going to select the coincident relation this one select this point and this line to add this coincident so this point is coincident on this edge now select the dimension tool define the dimension from this point to this origin this dimension is 75 and from select this line and this edge this edge this dimension is 30 degree so select this line and then this edge to define this dimension so this dimension is selected now we have to close the sketch so select the line tool draw a line from here to here to close this sketch like that we have a sketch like that then finish the sketching extrude and under the profile we have to select this profile which we want to cut so basically we want to remove the material and also select this profile here so we want to cut the material so traction is not correct change this traction in this side to make this cut and under the operation we needed the cut if we select the join it will add the material so we need it cut and press ok if it's cutting through all the material so we can also change the extent type to all and press ok now we make this cut so the shape is done just we have to make some cut so now i am going to open this sketch on this face and select the rectangle tool two point rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like that press ok then select the dimension tool and we have to define this dimension so the total length is 75 total height we have 25 and this this is in the middle so we have to calculate that so total from this point to this point we have 175 minus 75 the remaining is 100 so 50 in this side and 50 in this side so from this side to this 
side it has the distance of 50 now this rectangle is in the middle and again finish the sketching select the extrude tool select this profile which we want to remove the material go in this direction and we want the strand type all and the operation is cut press ok now we remove the material now we have to make another cut so this time we have to select this side select the rectangle tool from this edge this is the first point and here we place the second to define the dimensions so it's 20 and height we have the height of 30 and now define the position dimension from this point to this origin this is 35 finish sketching extrude tool select this point this area remove the material in the other direction pressure is cut and from the extend type we have to select R press ok and again we have to make a hole so open the sketch on this face and here select the circle tool define the dimensions so this radius is 20 and uh, sorry the diameter and from this point to this edge this dimension is 25 and from this center to this region this dimension we have 50 finish the sketching and extrude it in the other direction extend type all plus ok and another cut on this face so open the sketch on this face circle tool draw a circle define the position dimension and the diameter of this circle the diameter is 20 now define the position dimension from this center to this edge this dimension we have 40 and from this region to this edge this dimension we have 25 finish the sketching and same way select the extrude select this profile and extend type all and operation is cut press ok so now we can see we finish the design of the angle slider thank you so much for watching this video